Hello, my fellow humans, and welcome back to Scatter Love Tarot. With your girl coming at you with another pick a card reading. Today we are doing an energy reading about someone on your mind. Uh, before I explain this, I do want to take a quick second to thank any and everyone that continues to be a supportive part of this journey to show up and be a part of this ever-growing tribe. I'm truly honored and blessed to be sharing this time and space with you and for those of you that are new here welcome this is that reminder that we're all here sharing this human experience and that this is a safe space to show up as your highest most aligned loving authentic self uh, should these readings happen to happen to resonate with you it means so much to me it will help support the channel if you were to like comment and subscribe below and if you are looking to support the channel further you'll find all the links necessary below in the description box in order to do so you can email me for a personal reading you can follow me on over to my podcast on Spotify at scatter love radio you can even join as a member of the channel I would love to see you on memberships but if not thank you so much for your continued support here i'm truly so blessed so today's reading isn't necessarily about romantic connections it literally can pertain to anyone that you have on your mind okay so we're going to be checking their energy we're going to be finding out where they're at so this is going to be all about someone else and uh that way you can kind of gather what it is that your own intuition is telling you and you know compare and contrast right that's what it's all about it's about trusting your own intuition trusting your own inner guidance and getting those confirmations that you need to help you navigate the journey ahead okay so that today we are going to use my soul uh guidance oracle cards the cosmic soul cards i haven't brought these out in a while but let's go ahead and move into your prayer and we'll get this reading underway so i'm super excited about today's readings multiples <laughs> but i am excited all right all right, my beloved source is prayers for any and all who come on to this reading, whether it's for a moment's time or for the entire time. I see you open their hearts to receiving this information in a way that helps benefit them for their own journey, whether that is letting go, offering compassion, offering support and love, or just knowing that sometimes silence is the best way in life. It is the loudest way that we can express ourselves at times so whatever the case may be is we are all on different walks right now we're all asking about different people right now that you help remind us that truly ultimately everyone comes into our lives to either teach us a lesson to help us recalibrate where we're going on our own journey to help us embrace self-love to help us embrace compassion and to help us move into forgiveness so wherever anyone is at here if they need deep deeper assistance I ask that you provide that I ask that you surround them in the pink healing light of love and remind them that even though it's difficult even though life is difficult that the contrast in itself can be a very beautiful experience and that's what's meant to happen when we open our hearts to that <laughs> to relight that light to relight that candle within to know that that's how we come closer to our soul that's how we come closer to our truth I'm so grateful that we're all here, that we're all getting to share this beautiful experience, even if we are in difficult times. May you help ease the minds of any and all who need it. As these words are spoken onto this reading and into this space, so shall they be. Amen. Aho. Ase. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my beloved source. Thank you. All right, let me set that up over here. And I did already shuffle these prior, so let's go ahead and get into it. So for pile number one source, what cosmic soul card will help us better understand the energy reading on someone on pile one's mind? For pile number one source, what cosmic soul card will help us better understand the energy reading on this person that we're tapping into for pile number one? What will help us better understand this person that we're tapping into? Thank you, Source. And for pile number two, Source, what cosmic energy soul card will help us better understand 
the person's energy that we're tapping into for pile number two. For pile number two, source, what cosmic soul card will help us better understand that? Thank you. And for pile number three, source, what cosmic soul energy card will help us better understand the energy that we're tapping into of a person for pile number three? What will help us better understand this person that we're tapping into for pile number three? Okay, thank you, source. In the bottom of the deck, we have the number one card with Awaken. So definitely trying to open up your intuition at this time. There's this message coming through here right now about really just trusting what insights you're receiving. And that will help you in any connection that you have moving forward to really just trust yourself and to trust the insights and to ask, you know, is this something that's ego driven, which will usually come with an eye for an eye type attitude, like I have to give back what this person gave to me? Or is this coming from a place of love where I really don't want anyone to get hurt? I really just want everyone to you know, have the best and be able to be filled with love. And even if that means I have to exit in a state of love, right? So for pile number one, we do have this beautiful sand dollar that I got in North Carolina, well, actually South Carolina on the beach in Myrtle Beach. It was a gift. For pile number two, we have this beautiful clamshell. That also came from Myrtle Beach. Okay, and for pile number three, we have this beautiful stone that I got from Pueblo, Colorado. Okay, so we have pile one, pile two, and pile three. Whichever pile you're drawn to, that should be the pile for you. With that being said, I will see you over on your chosen reading. Hello, my fellow human. If you were drawn to this beautiful sand dollar, or if you were drawn to this card during the shuffle, then this is going to be your reading on an energy update uh, about someone that's on your mind. I do want to say thank you to anyone and everyone that continues to be a supportive part of this journey, this channel, and this ever-growing tribe. I'm truly honored to be sharing this time and space with you. And for those of you that are new here, welcome. This is that reminder that we're all here sharing this human experience and that this is a safe space to show up as your highest, most aligned, loving, authentic self. Should this reading happen to resonate with you, it would mean so much to me and it would help support the channel if you were to like like, comment, and subscribe down below. And with that being said, let's go ahead and hop to it and get into your reading. So Source, can you give us an energy reading about the person that's on pile number one's mind? What is an energy update about the person that is on pile number one's mind? What would you like them to know about this person, Source? What is the energy update about the person on pile number one's mind? rolling in okay we've got the fourth house we've got libra energy and the sun energy the first thing i heard is this person's experiencing difficulties and expressing themselves they don't know exactly how to tell people how they feel it's not just you this is something that is very consistent across the board with this person it's just everyone that they encounter like if it has to do with internal emotions they get very closed up they very much come into this place of like i don't know how to be seen i don't know how to show someone how i feel and so for the sake of not humiliating themselves they choose to say nothing okay so this person is very quiet and this is also someone who tends to be very passive aggressive at times because there are times when like say you were telling them at one point that you know it's really frustrating because i'm not a mind reader 
I don't know what's going on with you, so I need you to talk to me about that. This person takes that as though you're attacking them, and in that, they're like, oh my gosh, so they'll come at you with something that's very passive-aggressive, so they might give you the silent treatment, they might not talk to you for a few days, or they might be very curt with you when they are talking to you, just very one-word answers. And it feels like this person is just really dealing with a lot of internal injuries from their inner child, especially with the fourth house here. You have this person who is demonstrating a lot of mood swings because of internal hurts. And equally so, this person is not very connected with who they are. They're more so connected with the emotional ego of who they want to be right and so they're very much in their emotional ego they're very much being run by the subconscious at this point they're not necessarily aware of their actions they're just aware of the pain that they experience each and every day when they're getting triggered based on old toxic patterns that are arising and it's frustrating for them it's equally so frustrating for you because there's times when this person tries to appear as a very balanced individual and it's like if they just did the healing i feel like someone has been saying this if they just did the healing they would realize that they've been balanced all along but they're just not doing it right and really this person has this way of showing up for everyone where they say they see everyone's point of view but the only reason that this person says things like that is so that they're not put in a position where they have to choose sides and equally so, so that they're accepted by everyone in the situation that's going on in the circumstance that's happening so that they're not being singled out or ostracized because they ha actually have an opinion i feel like this person doesn't know what it is to have an opinion and so they're very superficial they're very much on the surface level they don't talk about anything that's real deep because it's scary to them right it's very scary to them to get deeper than that uh, this could be a partnership or connection that has fallen apart for you or that is in the process of falling apart. Definitely not an equal give and take. This person was very greedy about your time, about your resources, about what you had to offer to them. If it was a love relationship, they're very immature about the sexual side of things and they just wanted it to be their way. And they wanted you to hurry up and make changes, but all along they were just stubborn and stuck in their old ways. So let's see what comes out with the tarot cards here. So, Source, can you give us more about this person, an energy update of where they're at right now? The person on pile number one's mind. What's the energy update about this person? Thank you. What's the energy update about this person right now, Source? Thank you. What's the energy update about this person right now, Source? Okay, thank you. Yeah. It's interesting because I feel like the Ace of Swords came out for you. Like, they helped you see clearly is what I heard when it flipped over. They helped you see what was good for you and what wasn't good for you. On the bottom, yeah, we have the Ten of Cups here and the Two of cu Coins. So it could have absolutely been a connection. But I do feel like they showed you that you had your own abilities or that you were capable of doing things without them. Let's see what else is coming out here. Yeah, okay. This is a weird energy. It's like they're very imbalanced, right? And that's what I'm saying. I feel like a lot of what they do is from the subconscious. It's not like they're a bad person. I mean, you know, we want to label people as good and bad, but we're so multifaceted that there's no way to say, like, yes, this is a terrible person. But we see here they're represented by the page of Swords in the Reverse. But they don't like to rock the boat. You know, with the Six of Wands, the Six of Wands is an interesting card, right? Because it can talk about greed, but it can equally talk about someone who's too afraid to rock the boat. It's not like the writer Waite Smith, which talks about victory. Okay, and it's like rocking the boat could be a good thing or a bad thing, right? It could be like, I don't want to rock the boat because I have too much of an opinion and it would 
single me out in a situation that's not good for me to be singled out or I can rock the boat or I don't want to rock the boat because I don't want people to know that I have an opinion here. Okay, I don't want people to see that I have this way about myself. Let's, I'm actually going to grab some clarifying cards here from the Ostera deck. I haven't brought this deck out in a while. I love the imagery on this deck though. It's so beautiful. It's called the Ostera Tarot. I mean, please just get some clarifiers here because what's coming out is like there's this leadership ability, but I feel like right now source is focusing on you. Like they're focusing on what they treated, like how they treated you led you to healing. And it's almost like source wants you to draw away from the fact that this person doesn't want to face reality. This person doesn't want to see who you are. This person doesn't want to see how capable you are. They want everybody to feel bad for them. Yeah, that's what they, they want everybody to feel bad for them. They like it when people are jealous of them, but they do not like feeling jealousy of others, even though they feel it all the time. So right now, this person could be spying on you or trying to spy on your energy. Like, I feel like they're trying to scry on you if, if this is someone who knows how to scry. Like, they're definitely going out of their way to try and scry on you. If this is someone who's very childish by nature. Can we please clarify this page of swords energy here, source? Tell us an energy update on this person. Okay, so we have the queen of swords here. Look at this image. Just look at this for a second. Do you see this, like, eye coming out of her hand? Like, again, what I was saying, like, scrying? Like, that's this energy. It's like they want to look in on you, but they don't know how to connect with you. For this coming out, to clarify the Page of Swords, it's showing just the difference in your energies. Like, you are the Queen of Swords. Like, you're willing to cut someone out if they're not vibing with you on the journey like it's like okay for you to cut someone out and i feel like you did cut this person out because you had to you had to move on and it's like look at her in this image she's so peaceful and this this individual who's ever on your mind they cannot understand why you're so peaceful like why is pile number one so peaceful and it's because you have moved on and you're not so concerned with the outcome here you're more involved in finding your own peace and finding enlightenment, finding a higher version of yourself. And this person's wanting to know your business in and out because they feel like you were leaving them behind. And the truth is, is that there was no leaving them behind or letting them catch up because they're not even on the same journey. They're not even on the same path. Can we please clarify the six of wands. Okay. Thank you. We have the fool in reverse. Yeah. This is someone who hopes that they were going to trick you based on their perceived openness, right? It's like every time that you talked, if you heard this where they were just not choosing a side or like if you ever asked this person a pointed question like, what side do you really choose? This person will go out of their way to just keep rushing around the bush like let's just run around the bush run around the bush right like and it's like i don't want to give you an answer because if i give you an answer then that means that you could potentially disagree with me and if you disagree with me then i i don't want to be put on the spot like i don't want that it's okay if i disagree with you on things but i can't have you disagreeing with me on things and so it's just like you're you're not even in this but look at how she's riding this broomstick right she's riding this broomstick and i feel like they want me to point that out because they feel like broomsticks if you put a broomstick at the front of your door that just wards off evil spirits. It keeps you protected. So I do feel like you are very protected from this person. This person fears the future. They fear what's going on. And they fear that ultimately, look, we, we have justice here on the bottom. They fear that you're going to get what it is that you want. And you're going to speak clearly to people. And people are actually going to listen to you. And they're just feeling like left behind like here you are this hawk energy it's like you're flying high seeing clearly right you're seeing so clearly here there is no going back this could be i don't know why i got this but this could be a scorpio too it doesn't have to be yeah 
Yeah, we have the Ten of Cups underneath that again. It's just energy where this person's completely blind to the abilities that you have. Like, they're just completely blind to it. Let's see what else comes out for this Ace of Swords here. Swords, can you please clarify this Ace of Swords? Okay, so we have... Just a second. Okay. The Nine of Cups in the reverse. They're filled with illusions. Isn't that interesting that the card coming out that clarifies the Ace of Swords here is the card of illusions and the ace of swords is all about clarity so that's the energy that i was getting it's like they were hoping that they could pull one over on you they would they were hoping that you would believe their illusions you went straight from the ace of swords to the ten of cups which is a cup of leader like a cup it's a card of leadership right it's a it's a card of being able to emotionally understand yourself while emotionally uplifting others based on your own inner self-worth and so you went straight from the ace of swords to that energy because of this person and they're still stuck here in the nine of cups in the reverse they're not changing because they're believing some old patterns and they don't want to see that you figured it out somewhere along the way like they don't want to see that so they're doing everything in their power to convince themselves that the way that they live, the way that they believe, the way that they do everything is the right way and that you have somehow lost your rocker and that you don't even know which way is up. But look, here you are as the Queen of Swords, just completely clear on what it is that you want in your life. You're being guided by your, your spirit guide. You're being guided by, you might have a familiar that you have. You might have... Um, animal guides that you follow or that help follow you know help you follow the path whatever it is it's like you're just being very connected here to a higher power you're being very connected to your journey right now this person is just obsessing over the fact that you've somehow figured out this key to finding peace and happiness and they didn't know how to do it because they don't believe in the things that you believe in it's so weird how people really believe that life can only be lived one way. You know, I cannot tell you how many people I've met on my journey who believe that you have to work a nine to five job. You have to work at the same place for 50 years. Even if you're miserable, it doesn't matter. You have to build this retirement fund with them. Otherwise, you're going to fail. And even though I, you know, I've seen people own their own businesses, I always hear people talk about how, oh, they're never going to make it anywhere. Even this person could be so successful. They could have everything going for them. Happiness, love, they're fulfilled because they're, they're going after their dream. And I still hear people talking about how they're going to fail because they're not doing it the right way. They're not doing it the system's way right? What they're not doing is falling for the illusion. And that's what this person is trying to convince themselves that the illusion that they've lived for so long is the only possible probable way to be somewhere. And then we have the queen of wands here on the bottom. And this is interesting. It's in the reverse. So this is someone who has a problem with authority. You have the empress in the reverse underneath that and the emperor coming out. So this is so interesting because this person is very, they want to be seen as someone who's attractive. They want to be seen as someone who is intelligent. They want to be seen as someone who's necessarily like someone who's as nurturing as they can be. But ultimately, this is such a facade. Like this is someone who is two faced. This is someone who's fickle. This is someone who just doesn't have their stuff together. And then here you are, you're just comfortable being the emperor, right? You're just in charge. You're very much in this masculine energy right now. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. This is just very much standing in your power of masculinity and taking charge of your life and not looking back again with this energy, with the chariot right beneath that, right? You made a decision. You made a blind decision here too. Look at this imagery. Like you made this blind decision. You had a choice between the white knight or the dark knight. And it didn't matter which one you took, but you made a blind decision and what you did was served you well, right? And this person just is mad. We have the page of coins in the reverse underneath that. Again, it's just this person is mad because you're making... You look better every day. You look 
more successful every day you seem more successful every day like they just can't put the the dots together right like i just can't match it up i don't understand how pile one is making it happen so that's their energy right now they're very much obsessed with you this person is not really in a good place this person is really dealing with a lot of their own internal struggles but they don't want to face it Let outward deeds and words match inner feelings. Yeah, exactly. This person is really good at hiding who they are based on what they say. Their outward deeds and their words do not match how they feel. They may be someone who does nice things for the sheer fact of gaining popularity, accolades, you know, what is it? Social social status, social points, right? What's the street rep? Street cred? There we go. Street cred. They do nice things for street cred. And, you know, behind closed doors when they're with people who they have opened up a little bit to, even though they haven't opened up fully, this is someone who feels like this. these are people they can trust and they're always bashing those people that they do good deeds for. Oh, you should have seen what I did for pile number one. And it's like, Look, house for cultural family roots, home, peace, and comfort. It wouldn't surprise me if this is a family member. Fourth house coming out once again. It would not surprise me if this was a family member. All right, what else would you like to tell them? Pile one for this person, source. Yeah, ebb and flow. It's just important for you right now to really ebb and flow. Like, not really getting too attached to where this person's at on their own journey because... Honestly, they're an anchor. They're stick in the mud. That's what I just heard. They're a stick in the mud. Why would you want to mess around with a stick in the mud? It's just like taking one step forward and a hundred steps back. Yeah, you learn something very valuable by having this person in your energy around with number 22. It is about trusting the process. Um, let's get a couple of Panther cards out here. I do feel like this person does trigger you at times. I do feel like they intentionally trigger you because they know what pushes your buttons. Uh, it's not that they're aware of everything that they're doing, but I do feel like this person is aware that they push your buttons and they do the best that they can to push your buttons because it's like, oh, ha, see, they're not happy and go lucky all the time. I can affect them. And no, this is not necessarily narcissistic energy. Some people are just like that, okay? But if this is a narcissist, then you know imagination variety fantasy and minds this is a thing you have a very active imagination and you lead your life with that and this person just doesn't know they just don't understand like how can you share your imagination with everyone like this is someone who probably believes that like once you turned a certain age imagination was for a thing of the past right we have vow wish hope and worship you could be very, very spiritual by nature. I mean, definitely got that with the Queen of Swords here. And they don't understand because they don't believe the way that you do. I do feel like you want an apology for this person. You want them to confess how they treated you because they made you feel guilty. And really what Source is saying is like, the best that you can, find a way, right? And it might take time, but find a way for you to come into a space of forgiveness. Because this person is just stuck. They're just stuck in their ways and they're not ever going to come and apologize because they don't really even understand how they've treated you because they really think that, you know, it's like they're doing it with the best of intentions. Ultimately, they think they're doing it with the best of intentions, even though it's shady, even though it's like, you know, oh, I don't know, like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. But I feel like this person is just really run by their subconscious. Like, this is not someone who is actively aware of the way that they're treating people. It's just that they don't like to see people succeed because this is someone who really thinks that they're owed success, whether they had a hard life or whatever that is. And so for you to succeed and them not to, they don't understand what it is that you did to go there. And so really what Source is bringing out the apology card here is that forgive yourself mostly for this situation. Like that's the main thing. Just forgive yourself for, for the times you gave in to this person. Forgive yourself for sticking around believing that they could change. Forgive yourself for seeing the best in this person even though the best never showed itself. Like it's just really allowing yourself to see that 
when you forgive yourself then you'll be able to forgive the circumstances that were there 22 22 on the clock and trust the process that it doesn't have to be something that holds you back anymore but yes this person is very much obsessed with you and your energy right now we have evidence here detection instigation and proof and i feel like source has been showing you time and time again that this person just is not really for you this could definitely be an air sign aries uh it could be an aries could be a leo but definitely it could be a gemini libra or aquarius energy very heavy for the air signs could be a pisces it could be a capricorn it could be a taurus okay we have real estate wealth investment and mega project yeah so they're showing like you're becoming very successful okay and reservation desire worth and extravagance that the main focus here is that you focus on your worth your self-worth no matter how this person has treated you it should never take you away from how you feel about yourself and if it has then that's where you can heal yourself and remind yourself that you are worthy of good things that you are enough okay so it does like i said it's like source really just wants you to focus on yourself right now this person has taken way too much of your time this person has had way too much of your energy they don't even deserve it my nose is going crazy right now they're saying it's time for you to receive the good in life and you know that but it's almost like you just can't help but ask about this person sometimes because they've really affected you that much so don't feel bad because sometimes that's just life like sometimes people just really get to us and it's like we're looking for closure we're looking for understanding in a situation that's never going to have closure or there's never going to be any reason that makes sense as to why this happened except that it happened and the more the more that you just say i'm the closure you know, me walking away and being happy about myself and being happy with who I am, that's closure. And what's the reason that it happened? It happened so that I could become a better person. That helps you to find a way to just let it go. Okay, we have albatross. Conserve your energy and reap bountiful rewards. I cannot make this up. That, that is so so apparent what I was saying. Like This person has far too much of your energy. They have far too much of your time you are so much better off just focusing on yourself and i know pile one it's hard and no one's mad like your spirit guides aren't mad source isn't mad no one is mad at you okay no one's like you shouldn't be focusing on this person they're just trying to guide you into a place that's more useful for your energy and remember that you are worthy of that love right you are worthy of loving yourself and you're worthy of receiving that love from source so like we have cancer here nurture comfort and protection yes time for you to nurture yourself okay to change your perspective with milky way here right change your perspective bring your perspective back to self here this person was just the way that they were and there's nothing that you can say there's nothing that you can do there's no amount of anything that will happen has happened or potentially is happening that will ever make this person be a different way than they are unless they choose to and right now the cards are very clear that they're not choosing to okay we have happiness source wants you to focus on your own happiness okay they want you to focus on your own happiness here it's interesting that this is the reading that came up today and source for you pile number one really just wants you to focus on yourself it's the energy is very clear here Look, we have Mother Earth. I cannot. Number 20, 22 has come out. Look, I was 22, 22 on the clock, and we have 22, 22 with two separate cards. You're learning Mother Earth nurture. Mother Earth is all about nurturing ourselves. Let's see what she says from the book. Whoa. Oh my gosh. It felt so drawn to say the time because it was just weird. I just looked right at the clock and it said 22, 22. And that's such a synchronicity. And I felt so drawn to say it. I don't always say it when I see it. Sometimes it's for me, but no, this is clearly for you. Clearly, clearly for you, pile one. It says the trees are our lungs, the rivers, our circulation, the air, our breath, and the earth, our body. Deepak Chopra. 
Your heart is open and your intentions are pure. Know that you are being guided and nurtured by Mother Earth herself. She embraces you with her beauty and wisdom in all that you do. And she reminds you of your light through the illuminating stars, your beauty through her flowers, your sacred knowledge and balance through her trees. Nature guides you in every facet of your life, dear one. Mother Earth calls out to you in love. Earth Guardian, you are being called to assist humanity in remembering its divine connection to nature. Now is the time to express and share your creativity and wisdom even further. It is through the sharing of your love and talent that others will be inspired to journey into the deeper realms within themselves. Transformation and the healing of the earth starts in every human being within every human being the earth simply reflects our inner state we are all part of one consciousness expressing it in many forms when we die our body dissolves into the earth with which then nourishes the soil which feeds the trees and the plants forever weaving never adding or subtracting in this cosmic connected dance of life if humanity can focus on healing and nurturing the worlds within themselves, the earth will come to reflect their higher vibrational energy and light. Your work, Earth Guardian, is to assist others to remember their true divine selves, reconnect to the natural world, do what you came here to do, shine your light, walk your walk, and do all this with continued truth and integrity. Your affirmation is, I am dissolving into the oneness of all that is. And your associated chakras are the heart, the throat, the third eye, and the crown. So the bridge to the higher realms, right? The heart chakra is a bridge to the more ethereal chakras. And so that's definitely working with this higher vibrations and with perspective and Milky Way coming out here. It's like source is bringing you home to a much higher perspective to help you move on from these very low vibrational energies that are very stuck and you're doing such a good job of it and so that's why this reading went the way that it did because you have such a valuable important mission that is standing in front of you okay so this is what i see for you pile number one if you feel like this is your reading leave 2222 down below in the comment section and say i am learning to trust in the process and know that i get to nurture my own soul and if it resonated with you, it means so much to me if you were to like this video, to subscribe, and to comment down below. It does help the channel. It helps support the channel. And if you're interested in supporting the channel further, check out the description box where you will find all the links necessary to do so. You can email me for a personal reading. You can follow me on over to my podcast on Spotify at Scatter Love Radio. You can even join as a member to the channel. And I would love to see you on memberships, but if not... Thank you for your continued support here. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here and leave it there. And until next time. Oh, actually, I do want to take a quick second to thank your guides, your spirit messengers, your angel source, and my guides for coming together to give us this message. And until next time, pile number one, stay human. Bye. Hello, my fellow human. If you were drawn to this beautiful clamshell, or if you were drawn to this card during the shuffle, then this is going to be a reading on an energy reading about someone on your mind. First, I do want to say thank you to anyone and everyone that continues to be a supportive part of this channel. I'm truly honored to be sharing this time in this space with you. And for those of you that are new here, welcome. This is that reminder that we're all here sharing this human experience and that this is a safe space to show up as your highest, most aligned, loving, authentic self. Should these happen to resonate with you, it would mean so much to me and it would surely help support the channel if you were to like comment and subscribe below so with that being said let's go ahead and hop to it and find out what is the energy reading about someone on pile two's mind source what is the energy reading about the person on pile two's mind would you like us to know today's source what is the energy reading about the person on pile number two's mind wow okay so we've got taurus energy 11th house and uranus definitely could be a friend okay uh, again take it as it resonate if you didn't catch the intro i explained what these could represent in the intro so yeah instead of going into it you can definitely catch the intro okay <laughs> so 
<laughs> yeah, 11th house does feel like a friend. This is someone from a friend group, someone you met through a friend group. But this is someone who is pretty stable. They're pretty loyal. I do feel like there's a stubbornness that's coming out right now, though. There's just something stubborn about this person. It's not like they're really bad or anything like that. They're super loyal. They're stable. They're grounded. They're secure. And there's something here that's going to be radically changing soon with their energy. It feels like with uh, Uranus next to Taurus energy here. Okay, they're trying to rebel against something, though. That's like the stubbornness is coming. Because they're trying to be a rebel against either the system or through an idea or through a situation like they want to be the one that stands out they want to make it's like feels like this person wants to make some sort of impression like i have to be the one that makes the impression i have to be the one that gets the praise i have to be the one that has their hopes and wishes fulfilled very like it's feels self-centered but it's not this is just someone who's very driven they're very tenacious this is someone who likes to take things very slow and in taking things slow they also like to control the outcome of things which sounds bad but it's just because they expect things to go a certain way for themselves and so when it doesn't they may be known to pull back okay and again everybody wants to label everything as good and bad this is just the mannerisms that it feels like this person possesses they're pretty unpredictable right they're pretty rebellious they they don't really like things to change quickly even though things tend to happen very quickly in their life it does look like they're about to go through some sort of reformation here and they're trying to hold desperately on to some sense of freedom okay like they're really trying to hold on to some sense of freedom but it does feel like they're losing control of their own freedom so whatever that is i mean we'll definitely find out with the cards more energy on that but this does feel like someone who is once you get beyond the walls that they have built up like they're actually incredible energy like they have this very beautiful energy that they love to share with people but this person has built walls that are miles high and most people aren't willing to take the time the effort the energy to get beyond those walls and so they're just kind of used to people leaving or used to people not being around they have very much these superficial friends they have people who stick around just because they like this person not because they know this person you know like that's really how this the energy is here it's like this person feels very misunderstood by a lot of society they definitely feel like a black sheep here i heard someone say you're talking about me okay well it could be your energy coming through but i feel like this person and you might be mirroring each other in that sense as well okay he just came in so loud i was like you're talking about me <laughs> so let's get some tarot on it and see what comes through source would you please tell us more about the energy of this person where are they at right now on pile two's mind what is the energy update about the person on pile two's mind yeah, this person likes to judge a lot of people for the things that they do like that. Like, they don't like shallow re relationships, but that's basically, like, all that they have, right? <laughs> uh, this person's just dealt with so many broken hearts. This person's dealt with a lot of upsets in their life. And I do feel like this person is someone who's interested in you romantically. And it you know it's it's this energy of like they're falling into this illusion of everything is going to be just like the past what's the energy update on this person source what would you like to come through yeah source is trying to help this person find a sense of balance within their own energy and their own life as well like helping them to see the mirror right this is so this is someone who is going through a lot right now wow okay thank you yeah, it feels like this person is going through a lot right now. Like, they're definitely in it, and this person is experiencing a lot of blowback. Like, so it's like whenever they judge someone for something that they themselves are doing, it's kind of like that gets amplified in their life so that they're actually forced to face it. And they haven't really quite figured out the pattern or the rhythm. That's why I was saying this person doesn't like change, even though things change suddenly in their life all the time. It's like Source is playing a part in that. 
okay? Yeah, we have the eight of coins here on the bottom. They're trying to work on this, and they're trying to make a better life for themselves. <laughs> like, they're not quite on board here, but they are opening up to, okay, these things actually matter, right? Especially the Pope S and the Fool here. Like, they're very much opening up to, oh, wow, hold up. This actually matters. Like, I should be paying attention to this. I should be looking deeper into this. I should be understanding this. Right? But again, stuck in these illusions. They're just very much stuck in the very illusionary world that's around them. These are not even emotional illusions. These are very physical illusions. Like, believing what the world is showing them. So they're very slowly trying to move beyond that right now. I feel like they're very slowly... It's, it's like this is someone who's getting shoved by source and shoved by their angels and guides. Like, come on, we want to go over here. We want to go over here. And it's like, and I know this is weird because usually when we ignore our angels and guides and stuff, they, they don't really show up very much anymore. But this is like divine timing at work. So it's like whatever the contract is that they had when they decided to be born in this lifetime, there's certain things that have to fall in place. And those certain events are what's pushing this person to open up to their divinity. And so it's like I keep seeing someone shoving them like we got to go this way. And they're like, no, that way looks way better, you know, and it's like. You have the fork in the road. One side looks really light and beautiful and the other side looks really dark and they want to go down the light and beautiful side, but really they have to face the darkness and they don't want to. Like, mommy, I'm scared. I don't have my nightlight. Okay, yep. The five of, five of wands in the reverse is an obstinate refusal to change. Oh, that's so funny. So funny. Yeah, and the emperor. But see, they're like trying to figure out how to stand in this strong status here. Like... They're being led to their divinity. Like, that's what it is right now. Energetically, they're really trying not to. Okay, like, their whole life is falling apart right now. But what Source is focusing on is the why. Like, why it's falling apart right now. <laughs> oh, these readings. I always want them to go a certain way, and they never do. I just give up. I give up. Source is going to say whatever Source wants to say. So it's like Source is like, yes, you asked the question that I wanted you to ask, but now let me tell you how it's really going down, right? And that's just it. This person with the five of wands at the center of the reading here, it's highlighting that they're very, very much stuck in the past. They're very stubborn. That very much, I don't want to change. I like the way things are. I like living in an illusory world because then I don't have to deal with those things that I shut behind that door a long time ago. I keep seeing like a closet door that's closed and if you open it up like everything in the mother and their mother falls out. You know like when kids just like your mom's like clean your room and kids just go and shove everything they can in the closet. At least you see it a lot on shows and stuff. <laughs> that's what I keep seeing right now. It's just like that's what it they just don't want to they don't want to dig into the past because digging into the past brings up a lot of hardships a lot of hurt and a lot of pain so i was getting some clarifying cards for pile one i'll go ahead and get them for you too from the star deck so can we please clarify this five of wands here source can you please clarify the five of wands we have the magician in the reverse and we have the ace of wands so you do feel like the ace of wands wants to be here on the three of swords and it's just saying like source is trying to inspire them little by little like look at this little mouse right here on their sleeve right little by little i'm trying to inspire them trying to help them move forward i'm trying to help them find a sense of balance here but you see all these flames here it's like they're so engulfed in the hurt and the pain of the past that they don't even want to bother looking at it and with the magician in the reverse it's like they're doing everything in their power to manipulate their own outcome right this is someone who does their best to try to manipulate how they manifest this is someone who tries to uh <laughs> to trick the system right they're trying to trick the system like oh i'm a manifester i know i can manifest i've man manifested things but i'm gonna tell source how i'm manifesting and source is like yeah okay go ahead we'll see we'll see how long that lasts and they still haven't quite opened up to that right they still haven't quite opened up to that and so they're trying to push them away here and get them to work on this internal self with the pope s here you know the pope s is a very interesting energy because it's something that's dark it's something that's hidden it's something that's secret but she's also someone who represents dealing with the underworld right the darkness in the underworld like i gotta go down into the depths and really understand myself so that i can connect 
connect with my intuition. Because if we're stuck in worldly blocks, which we have represented by the nine of coins here in the reverse, when we're stuck in those worldly blocks, the broken heart, the resentment, the anger, the pain, the hurt, whatever it is, we're not able to connect with our intuition. What Source is showing here is that this person is right now on a path to opening up to their own intuitive knowing. They're aware that there's something there, but because they can't see it, they're scared out of all all of their life they're so scared right like i don't want to they're trying their best to protect something here they're standing in a very powerful position yes they've manifested quite a bit in their life they've done a lot they've worked hard they've gotten to a place where they feel comfortable and assured within themselves and now source is slowly chipping away at the foundation because they're showing them that even though this looks solid it's really not can we please clarify the emperor here, Source? Would you please clarify the emperor? What do we have? Whoa, hello. Where'd you go? There it is. Where'd you go? Yeah. The hermit. The one thing that they're trying to stay away from. Look at this hermit. He's got like his hat covering his eyes. You see this? Let me see if I can get it close enough to focus that's just it and he's just like lazy over here on his boat he's not even in the water he's on ground like he's like oh i don't know i don't know i mean i know i should like i know i got to but see look if you look at it this way this hermit's lantern is facing towards the future part of the reading right and so that's what they're more concerned about is the future rather than the past they want to let go of the past they don't even want to look at it i don't even want to heal from it i just want it to go away if i keep dusting it under this rug will it just eventually go away go away but see it's like the three fates are coming that's what i just heard the three fates are coming so there's been a line drawn in the sand for this person. They can't get away anymore. Look at this magician. I was just looking at this right now. Look at, she doesn't have eyes because her eyes are on her hands. Right? And look at the boat right here. It's very unique because it's like being watched from all different areas. This person's very, very conscious of how people see them. Okay, very conscious of that. And look, it's in the snail on top of their head. It's like very slow to open up to the light that Source has been trying to feed them. And it's just a very slow process. It's not like they're unaware of it. They're just not letting themselves open up to it because it's like they may have seen you be in that spiritual light or they may have seen others be in that spiritual light and they're just like they've had their own judgments like i said this person just seems like they're very judgmental people doing the same thing that this person does very much like that bigot energy and they're like i don't know like i'm just gonna judge people because they're not doing what society says this person is very aware of the eyes that are on them and so they've worked very hard to come into this place of status and they've done a good job of that they're not they're not manipulative of people they just don't let people know who they are and i know that people would argue that's manipulation is it really i mean if no one asks is it really manipulation because no one has asked. Because no one cares enough to ask. And then if someone cares enough to ask, this person is just going to, you know, oh, well, you know, and, you know, and, you know, like, they're just going to kind of, like, brush it off. Like, oh, they're not serious about getting to know me. We have strength in the bottom. Exactly. This person is repressing so many hurts and pains. Like, the heart here. This makes you think of Dragon Heart. Do you know that old movie with Sean Connery? He had half the dragon's heart inside of him so that he could live, the prince did. And Sean Connery was a dragon. And if you haven't watched it, it's an amazing movie. Like, it's way back from the day, though. We're talking about in the, what is it? Uh, a throwback in the day cafe. <laughs> But this, they don't want to balance. They don't want to balance this out. They're definitely ruled by the devil here. They're definitely ruled by the wants. It's like they've done everything that they can right now to shut away this. So I do feel like Source is really slowly chipping away at them and trying to bring this in. You know, you have the Ten of Cups here, and it's like they want happiness, and they want to be seen as an emotionally fit leader, but right now they're fighting. They're really fighting against being their own heroes, and they're realizing that they're they're slowly backing themselves into a corner 
because this is going to be a completion of a cycle whether they want it or not there's going to be something that they're going to learn from this and i feel like you know that energy once you know like you can't go back to unknowing and so that's the problem that they're running into right now they're slowly starting to see truths about people who are in their energy and it's like i can't unsee it and that's just it it's like source is just showing them things it's like Oh, this is over here. This is over here. This is not true for you. This is not true for you. That's not resonant with you. And it's like this person was just really happy being ignorant of everyone and their lives because they really thought that they were doing the best job that they could at hiding people out. So that's the energy that they're in right now. They're just being really stubborn. They don't want to change because they've been their whole life so hyper vigilant and aware of everybody that's been looking at them everybody that's been focusing on them excuse me so let's get some oracles out here source for pile number two about this person thank you think laterally to solve a problem yeah they only think one way they don't want to change the way they think they don't want to solve this problem because to them it's not a problem because to them it's just everything is hunky-dory the way it is this is someone who could be the masculine this could be a masculine energy stuck in the material world why do i hear that barbie song or what, no is it oh i'm a material girl stuck in the material world <laughs> i don't know who sings that but that's why i just heard it it was so loud but it's, that's what they're saying like this person is just very much stuck in the material realm it's not like they they care they don't even care if there's another way to do it it's they're they're just happy being in the material world like they're just happy having found some kind of strength here in the world and and having some sense of status yeah but source is saying it's time for you to spiritually grow and they're very very resistant to this growth they're not ready but they are ready because if they weren't ready source wouldn't be pushing them but they're just you know, hey, the ego holds on with tooth and nail. It fights until it's dying breath, until we have an egoic death. It will fight. You know, and that's definitely feels like this person has been run by their emotional ego for a long time. And now the spirit is trying to help them open up to their truth. And that's just something that's just their emotional ego is like, mm, no, nope, I'm okay. I'm all right. This came out in pile one too, ebb and flow. They don't know how to ebb and flow. There's a lot of turmoil that's going on right now. This person just doesn't know how to relax. This is someone who could definitely be an overthinker. This is someone who could be a fixed sign as well. Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, or Scorpio. They don't have to be, but they could be. Okay. Just definitely feels like this person's lost in their head all the time. Even though they've gotten... They've gotten praise and they've gotten recognition for being quote unquote different. It's like they've done, they're someone who follows trends to be different. They don't set their own trends like Aquariuses do. And so that's why. And they feel like they are different. They're a black sheep, but they're not recognizing that they're still trying to do their best to blend in. So, you know, it's weird. Yeah, prosperity. Again, with the third eye, there's something about the third eye is being activated right now. So something is changing here. Yeah, because they're burning out. They're burning out. And I feel like the life that they're living right now is definitely leaving them feeling uncomfortable. You know, we have moderation. Anything and too much of anything is a bad thing. And it's time for them. This popped out. It's time for them to release. Yeah, they need to let go. And there's nothing that anybody can do to convince them oh, you have to do this. Like, this, <laughs> you know, this is someone who has to make a choice. They have to decide. Let's get some yin-yang cards on it for you, too. We'll just kind of see what else this person is dealing with right now energetically. Yeah, expression, self-care. What else would you like to come out here, Source? I just feel like this person doesn't know their own truth. Like, I feel like they just don't know... They don't even know who they are, right? We have alchemy, ancestor guides. Yeah, so this is, did you, are you trying to manifest this person? Like, this is something that feels like you're trying to manifest this person. But they're, look, they're stuck in a state of regret and repression. You see this, the light and the dark. 
right? This light and dark aspect. It's like they're just stuck in the... I want to be the person who is the magician. I want to be the person who manifests life. I want to be that person. Maybe you're trying to manifest them too, especially with that alchemy and ancestors card coming on here. But see, they know that their truth they'll find if they go into self-care. But this is what they're resisting. They're resisting their truth with every ounce of their being. Like, it's like, I can't do that because... It's scary. It's the unknown. This is not someone who ventures knowingly into the unknown. Like, they basically have to let their whole life fall apart before they take that venture. They will, but very reluctantly. Yeah, disharmony triggers and conflict. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Isn't it interesting that this would come out? And this is ultimately not negative energy with the emperor and the hermit it's not really negative energy but you see the only reason that they've come into those states is due to conflicts in their life and disharmony it's not because of those it's like i'm putting on a mask so that i don't have to deal with this anymore which is why this person's very closed off very disassociated right yeah, Venus offer. I feel like someone's trying to manifest this person. Are you trying to manifest them? Maybe they're trying to manifest you. But they have to... So whoever's trying to... There's there's a sense of manifestation here. Okay, with this. But there, look, there's also regret and repression that's coming through. And look, facades and beliefs that's underneath that. And underneath that, we have Saturn with contracts, careers, and commitments until debt tear us apart. So there's this energy of someone trying to manifest this person. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here with water underneath that. And the truth is, is this person's just not in a place to be in your life, right? That's just not in a place, right? Because they, they have these facade. They've got these masks that they're wearing. They're in there. Like the, the flame went out. Like they're trying their best to keep themselves hidden. They're trying their best to, to be something that they're not. What do we have here? Look, kill, build, toucan. Take time out for fun. This came up on this weird. I have a screensaver on my computer. Just it switches every couple of hours. And this came up not too long ago on my computer, which is hilarious. But, yeah, they don't want to have fun. I don't feel like... I feel like this person is very childish, but they don't have a good time. Like, this person takes everything so seriously. They could be a Leo. Self-confident, loyalty, and creativity. Yeah, this person's very loyal. They're loyal to whatever it is that's taken up the most of their time. So they could have a very terrible friend in their life that's very toxic. But because they've known them for years, they're going to be loyal to them. Like, that's the type of loyalty this It's like loyalty with a fault, right? So um, there's this rebirth that's coming in. So they're either in the process of a rebirth here, or it's like Source is trying to help them come into this rebirth. You know, sometimes we, when they say be careful what you ask for, <laughs> I have to laugh because it's so funny because it's exactly what this person is going through it's like if they wanted to manifest you and you're very high vibrational and you're very loving energy and they're trying to manifest you into their life they didn't know quite what they were asking for and it's like source is like yeah sure if you want to manifest pile two great but that means we got to get rid of some baggage and a lot of baggage that is before this person can ever come into your energy right and so it's like source is absolutely looking out but also source is saying like if you're serious i'll get you there but you got to be serious about it and they're like i don't know if i was serious about it but then they can't help stop thinking they can't stop thinking about you like you're always on their mind yeah source this is source coming in source is like i'm the one that's doing this right especially with ceremony and invocation this is like they didn't know exactly what they were asking for when they asked for you like this is like next level <laughs> Right? So the alchemy is this, like, so it's trying to balance that out. Like, you have become an alchemist in your own life, and the only way for them to manifest you is for them to turn into an alchemist as well, which means we got to let go of these really low vibrational energies, right? We got to let them go. Chameleon change is number 33 coming out here, yeah. Source is saying you can't blend in anymore, honey. You can't because my pile twos don't blend in. 
and my pile twos aren't going to go for someone that blends in and so if you want them it does feel like there's some sense of manifestation coming through here someone's trying to manifest someone else and so it could be you manifesting them and maybe you didn't know what all they had to go through or they could be manifesting you and the story is still the same they had no idea what they had to go through let's take a look at your soul card here celestial teacher This like totally changed the energy here. It's like it's not it's not just source. This is their ancestors coming in. Like with the ancestor card and with this card, like there's a lot of crown chakra awakening here. We even saw that with the magician in the reverse. Like this person was very much reluctant to let in these energies. You know, sometimes we do get awakened quite abruptly on our journey. Like, we'll go through an awakening because it's like, hey, it's time. You have a mission to complete. It's time. And I know it's like most of the time, Source doesn't force us, but there are some of us that are, if you will, the chosen. I don't like to use that because I think that everyone is chosen. I feel like everybody has a choice to decide whether or not they step up into that but i do feel like there are certain people you know kind of like eckhart Tolle talks about how he just one night kind of like awakened to everything and i feel like that's exactly kind of what this person's going through and it's a very rude awakening they're not really ready for it, it says you are a spiritual being with unlimited potential there's so much for you to share this represents your ability to manifest the reality of your own choosing. Again, that idea of manifestation coming in. You've come a long way, and this world of manifestation that you find yourself in reflects the wisdom, insight, and clarity you have embraced so far. Spirit is encouraging you to share this wisdom with the world. Unlimited power, light, and sacred knowledge flows through you. Through your heart is open, your mind is clear. Trust in your abilities as a teacher, but you have a strong connection with universal energies of love. Allow divine spirit to speak through you and trust in the process that is unfolding. Trust yourself and trust in what you know. Let go of any doubts or inhibitions that keep you from taking the next step. By not embracing and sharing the wisdom you hold, you deny the world the opportunity to experience your new, unique healing. Many gravitate towards radiant souls who stand empowered. You're a natural teacher, dear one, with natural counseling skills. By speaking your truth and sharing the lessons you've learned, you inspire others to find the courage within them to do the same. Your own unique celestial light with the guidance of spirit will bring much love, peace, and clarity to this planet. The increased awareness and light that you have gained is an invaluable resource that, many, that will inspire many. Release all doubts and hesitations. Be the divine soul you came here to be. Exactly. Like, they're not ready to be that, but it's like time, right? Like, hey, the clock is ticking. We got to go. Be the light, love, peace, and stillness this world seeks. The affirmation is, I am confident as I embrace the teacher within. I courageously share love, light, and peace with this world. And this is so weird because I don't usually get... Pile one had this too, the uh, chakras are the heart, the throat, the third eye, and the crown. And pile two, or pile one had that too, whereas like from the bridge to the etherical chakras, like these more non-tangible chakras that we're dealing with, the throat, the third eye, and the crown, they're very like not touchable, right? It's all about breath, about space, <laughs> right? And about connection and so on and so forth. It's not like our more material chakras which is the root the sacral and the solar plexus it's just more physical energy and so it's interesting because it's like they're very much stuck in the physical energy and this is what's trying to open up for them right now and so the energy that's happening right now is they're probably going through an awakening process and as you know with the awakening process there's gonna be resistance right and so they're just dealing with resistance right now they're just being stubborn they're not bad this is not a bad person this is not an evil person they're just very much in this place of repressing a lot of energy and not wanting to really face it just yet okay so that's the energy update on this person if you feel like this is your reading Leave a little ghost emoji down below. Spirit came out so much in this. Leave a little ghost emoji down below and say, I encourage all who I meet to become their own celestial teachers because through love, I get to change the world. Leave me a thumbs up. I'm going to go ahead and leave this here and get on out of here. Uh, if it did resonate with you, it means so much to me and help support the channel if you were to comment and subscribe below. Uh, 
Also, if you're interested in supporting the channel further, you'll find all the links necessary to do so below in the description box. You can email me for a personal reading. Follow me on over to my podcast on Spotify at Scatter Love Radio. You can even join as a member of the channel, and I'd love to see you as a member. If not, though, thank you for your continued support here. I am going to go ahead and leave this here and get on out of here. I do want to take a quick second to thank your guides, your spirit messengers, your angel source, and my guides for coming together to give us this message. And until next time, stay human. Bye. Hello, my fellow human. If you were drawn to this beautiful rock right here, or if you were drawn to this card during the shuffle, then this is going to be a reading on an energy update on someone that's on your mind. I do quickly want to say thank you to anyone and everyone that continues to be a supportive part of this channel, this journey, this ever-growing tribe. I'm truly honored to be sharing this time and this space with you. And for those of you that are new here, welcome. This is that reminder that we're here having this human experience together and that this is a safe space to show up as your highest, most aligned, loving, authentic self. And if this happens to resonate with you, it would mean so much to me and it would help support the channel if you were to like, comment, and subscribe down below. So that being said, let's go ahead and hop to it and find out what is the energy update for the person on pile number three's mind source. What would you like us to know? What is the energy update for the person on pile number three's mind? What would you like pile number three to know about the energy of the person that's on their mind okay so we've got the south node look we've got taurus the second house and the south node interesting energy already this is someone who is very focused on financial gain Okay, we've definitely had a lot of materialism come out in this reading which is very interesting right it feels like Definitely that dynamic between the masculine and the feminine energy is coming out, but it's not been as simple as that, right? Like, especially for those of you that have watched all three piles, and as always, if you have, leave a purple heart down below that's always going to be designated for you. I know what that means. Just say I made it. But this is someone who's very hyper-focused on material. Money, cars, wealth, fame the big lights, having a girl on either arm, having a dude on either arm, take it as it resonates, doesn't, this is someone who's just very, very stuck in this idea that the only way to be happy in life is to have the fortune, the fame, the girls, the cars, you know, first you get the money, then you get the power, then you get the girls, or what is it, first you get the power, then you get the money, then you get the girls, whichever way it is. Right? This is definitely like Scarface here, okay? Al Pacino played it well. <laughs> right? But this is someone who's just very stuck in this three dimension and doesn't see any other way of being. And they don't know how to be. And they don't want to leave that behind. This is someone who's not willing to leave this behind. Like, they just flat out refuse to leave this behind. They don't believe anybody else could live a different way. It's like they've gotten a taste of it. This definitely feels like devil energy coming through here. It's just like the greed. This is someone who's very greedy. Okay? Whether this person actually lives like that or not, it's like not really clear right now, but it does feel like this person just has that idea in their mind. Like, the highest point in their life would be or is or you know, will be if they got this ultimate status where the whole world knew their name, where the whole world was excited just to have them. It's like I'm God's gift to creation. creation. It's a very arrogant energy. This is a very arrogant energy. Like, they just think that they can do no wrong because this is how they see life. They see life from a very material aspect. And, I mean, I guess when you look at it from a material place, you really can't do any wrong because nothing is real. Nothing is real. Like, people aren't real. Emotions aren't real. So, it's the only thing that is real is what I can touch, right? What I can drive, what I can live in, what I can use, that's the only thing that's real. Everything else is just, that's why I'm saying like emotions don't matter because emotions are something that you can't touch. It might be something you can feel, but you feel it with your heart. You feel it with your being. You don't feel it with your hands, right? 
And yeah, you can touch people with your hands, but again, it comes back to that. This is something that it's someone I could use. That's this energy. It's like, who can I use? This is someone who appears to be incredibly stable. This is someone who appears to be very well liked, but this is someone who's also extremely arrogant. This is not a very good energy. I don't know. I don't I don't like it. It makes my stomach hurt. <laughs> someone who makes my stomach hurt. <laughs> Really? Yeah, this is someone who they do a lot of things really loudly because they want people to look at them. Like I keep, this so they're showing me that that script or that that uh, clip from South Park where the Harley drivers come into town. If you haven't seen that, it's okay. But it's just like they come into town on these loud bikes, and it's like, oh look, everyone's looking at us. Yeah, and then one they're li they're inside this cafe and no one's looking at them and they're like why isn't anyone looking at us and so they start making the bike noises they're like blah, 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 like this so everybody starts looking at them they're like yeah yeah that's right everyone's looking at us ha huh? that's the type of energy this person has like they just don't care it's like if you're not paying attention to them then it's like you they're gonna go out of their way to be louder and more annoying and more arrogant to get you to to just respond to them wow this is so funny <laughs> they like to make people react that's what it is Soros, can you please give us more information on the energy update of this person I mean, everybody that I've dealt with has been stubborn, but this is, this, this is not at all like the other two piles. This one's like really a stubborn energy. All right, Source, what is the energy update on this person? Okay, thank you. What is the energy update on this person? Yeah, they keep getting stuck in lost causes. This is someone who thinks that if they have money and wealth and fame that people should owe them respect, right? But they don't have to respect anybody because they have status. Ugh. That's why it's making my stomach hurt. That's how I feel about this person. You know, it's interesting because it's like, even though people are like this, they have a tendency, you know, life has a tendency to humble us all. Even when we're not like this, right? So imagine once they get humbled, like, some shiznit's really going to hit the fan. Yeah, big changes. This person's about to go through some big changes, energetically. <laughs> oh, this person. Oh. This person is really greedy and they think that everyone should love them. Yeah, and they don't they don't think that they have any growth that they need to do. They think that ev they inspire everyone. So energetically like right now this person is just very stuck in their ego. Like they're very stuck in their ego and they don't think that they have any growth that they need to go through like well, they, 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 I don't, and I don't think that this is a, I'm too old to change or anything like that. It's just a blatant, I am not ever going to change. I like who I am and I don't care if nobody else likes it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I feel like this Pope S in the center is definitely representing you. You're well aware of where this person's at. Like every time you're in the vicinity of this person, you're like, man, this person, this person, they're good at putting on a show, aren't they? No, this person's just arrogant. Just arrogant. They think that everybody loves them. They think that because all right, this person may have a pretty high position in life as well. This person is someone who thinks that everyone should listen to them. Everyone should believe them. Everyone should, you know, do the same things that they're doing. Like, if they don't, then they're wrong. And, you know, like, the person who's not doing it is wrong. I feel like you see this and it's like you're trying to mm. yeah so they're showing me like it's like you have really questioned yourself about this person a lot because this person doesn't really I'm trying to paint this because it's like this person's really good at hiding this energy with others or it's just because others are enamored by them that they can't see it and you just are like, yeah, so 
this person's really like this and and it's almost like if you've if you've told someone that they don't believe you or you're just really quiet and you just know it to yourself because i do feel like the pope s is you i feel like wow you're like this energy of oh my gosh are you really like that like how could you be like that but you really come out why does it feel like this person try oh yep okay they're telling you okay this person really tries to be spiritual but they're really not this person is very stuck in the material ways. This person steps on people's toes to get ahead. This person is very, they're just very greedy. They're very greedy. They're greedy with energy. They're greedy with time. They're greedy. Like this is someone who, if they gave you their phone number and they have your phone number, they only reach out to you when it's to get them in a position that looks better i think like it, this is a very odd energy because i feel like they call you but they don't call you to talk to you like they call you to pass on messages that don't even belong to you this is such a weird oh i don't like this energy at all i don't like this energy okay let's get through it <laughs> let's get through it this energy give me just a second let me let me take a drink of water let me let me reground here let me reground. This is this is a very overpowering energy. What's overpowering too? It's just this person really believes that no one's better than them. But it's not even that they're it's such a weird way to put it, but that's really what it is. Like no one's better than me. I'm the only one that's good like this. But I feel like this person doesn't even have any natural talents. And it's not that they don't, it's just that they're, all their natural talents are hidden because this person, you know, like, if they're spiritual, like, it feels like if they were spiritual and you were like, yeah, hey, if you're spiritual, like, let's, let's meet up sometime, like, let's compare notes or something like that, and this person has made every excuse possible not to meet up with you because they're not spiritual like that, <laughs> right? They're not, they're just, this is someone who tells a lot of weird lies, but look at all these coins. Like you have you represented by the Pope S. You have the King of Coins, the Ace of Coins in the reverse, and the Five of Coins, like representing this person. Like this is a big change. So I really feel like this person is about to experience a rude awakening. Okay, look at them. It's like they're. Oh, okay. Thank you, Source. Thank you. Thank you. They're like waving their money in your face. Like, that's what it feels like. It's like they really feel like, oh, I have it all because I have the cash. I got the bank band, but you don't. And you're over here like, okay, sure. Go ahead. Like, if that's what makes you happy, go for it. Like, because that ain't what makes me happy. Let's get some clarifiers here. I did this in all the other pile. Look, the magician in the reverse. This came out in another pile. It wants to be over the ace of coins, but we have the magician in the reverse. This person is very, yeah, they're very unaware. Like, they're just unaware of who they're dealing with. Like, let me just say that. They don't recognize you for your power because this person thinks that they're the only one that can be the way that they are. But they're not even any way. I, I hope that I'm making sense. Like, it feels like I'm talking in circles, but it's like that's the energy of this person. They just talk in circles, talk in circles, talk in circles. And and it's like by the time that they get done with the conversation, you didn't even get to the topic that you were trying to talk to about with this person. And they made you feel good but bad at the same time and for some reason you find yourself giving this person a compliment not you necessarily but it's like this is a type of conversations that they have with people like you end up finding yourself giving this person a compliment like oh you're such a wonderful person i'm so glad that i met you and then you leave and you're like huh what just happened like that's what i feel like this energy is we have the three of wands in the reverse here mm, this person's mad because they don't have the options that you have like, get out of here. Can we please get one more clarifying card here? Yeah, we have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, this person pretends to be a friend. Oh my gosh, okay. Like, that's what I was getting. It's like, this person is like a friend, but they're not a friend. Like, if you see them for who they are, like, how could they be a friend? Like, this is someone who pretends that they've gone through the hardships that you've gone through. And I feel like you've totally broke out of Dodge here. Like, you definitely left the situation. You're not in it like that. Like, if this person's trying to convince you that they're your friend, but it's like I said, it's like, they only use you... That's the only thing they do. They just use you. They don't they don't care about you. They don't ask you nothing. It's just like like even if they were to call you on a holiday, they only call you on a holiday to make 
themselves look a certain way on the bottom of the deck. We have the six of coins in the reverse with the five of wands. Yeah, you have definitely regained your balance since knowing this person, recognizing that they don't have anything to give to you. Definitely getting like a strong feminine energy here, especially with the second house and Taurus energy. Definitely a strong feminine type energy. It doesn't have to be. This could be someone that's a Taurus or has Taurus highly aspect in their chart. But then we have the six of swords here. So and it's interesting, right? Because you left. But it's like they're trying to follow you here. This little snake is trying to follow the boat, <laughs> right? It's like you've regained balance. You regain balance. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to play this game anymore. Wow, what's trying to peek out here? We have the two of coins coming out. Yeah, you're like, I'm not going to play these silly little games anymore. I'm not going to try this anymore because it's not worth my time. It's not worth the energy that you're trying to put into it, you know? This is like something was a completion of a, a cycle for you. And it's like, I know we're trying to find their energy, but that's just it. It's like their energy... Like, how could you pinpoint what their energy is when it's just literally, like, arrogance, confusion, and entitlement? Like, if I were to put some words on it, that's exactly the energy that they're in right now. With the South Node coming up, this person is aware of all different kinds of journeys, but they're not going to do it any other way. Like, they're just not, because people, their whole life, this is like someone who goes out of their way to say the most outrageous things, just for the sake of seeing how people are going to react and then if they get what they would deem a good reaction to that they're going to keep using that until it wears out its stay and then they'll find something completely outrageous to say a different time and they'll use that and it's just a very this is not i don't like this energy i really don't like I'm glad that you're aware of it, though. Like, I feel like this is just confirming the intuitive notions that you've got. And I feel like this is just confirming how you feel about this person. And it's like, I do feel like you are staying aware. It's like something that you've been guided to do with this person. I mean, even with the Empress in the reverse here, it's just this person who's very... Uh, what's the word that, that just had it? It was right there. Anyways, I guess they don't want me to say it, so, but that's just it. This person just, they expect everyone to be there for them, but they'll never, ever lift a finger for anyone else. They just won't, okay? Like, they just, they don't have it in them. They don't have it in them. Like, let's see. Adapt to place and circumstance to discover happiness and contentment i feel like this is a message for you just reminding you that you always have home with you like you are home and you don't have to let other people into that so it's like whether you're energetically blocking people from you or you're physically saying enough is enough like that's fine like you don't have to let people in especially people like this who are trying to use you for whatever it is that they're trying because it's what it feels like this person's a user like they just like to use people and uh it's like you have learned that and so sources are saying like, don't let this person like knock you out of your happiness and contentment right we have the blue tit here with the find your voice and free your spirit yeah i feel like that's part of you finding your voice here and freeing yourself it's just sometimes you don't have to say anything and I feel like that very, 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 very much irritates this person. Like, I really feel like it irritates them to no level because they're, ne they're not used to people not responding to them or reacting to them. We have Square coming out. Yeah, challenging situation and a mountain to climb. Like, while they were in your energy, this is what it was. It's just a really cha huge challenge. It's like, I do feel like, Pile 3, I feel like you extended friendship. Like, I feel like you were very genuine. You're like, hey, you know, it's cool. You're, like, on the same journey as me. Like, let's be cool like that. And then this person very quickly realized that you were much different than everyone else that they can't use you they can't abuse you the way that they're used to abusing and using people it's like this is someone who's i would say borderline sociopath but i'm not here to diagnose people because i'm not a psychologist it's just that energy like they just don't understand why people are so stupid and yet here's pile three and pile three like oh i'm not stupid at all don't take my kindness for weakness and that's exactly what they did they took your kindness for weakness and they're recognizing like whoa hold on hold up pile three really isn't stupid like they don't let me play them like everyone else does right like and so it's like it irritates them 
But there's nothing they can do about it. Yeah, North Node. Like, we have South Node and North Node. You're moving away from this. So if this is someone who's in your energy right now, like, don't worry. You're moving away from this. You're moving on to what you're supposed to have in life, right? Yeah. You're making small steps to get there. It's been a combination of tension and flow, but you're going to be rewarded soon. Like, things are changing for you. That's good, right? <laughs> That's good. It's just this is such a heavy energy here. Like, so weird. Yeah, so Source wants you to remember to find stillness within. I feel like the Oracle's more or less like giving you advice because it's like this person just doesn't, they're not going to take any advice. Like there's no advice here. There's no trying to explain them any further. I mean, they're challenged. What more do you need, really? Yeah, and so this has just helped you to reflect on some things in your life as well. I feel like they are a reflection of things that you went through in the past. I feel like they've helped you to activate your internal truth as well. And that's made you feel good about yourself. So we have, look, yeah, cat, intuition. We can't get beyond that. Like, the thing is, is that you were intuitively guided to know who this person was. And even though no one would believe you, like, even if you told people who this person was, they would be like, you're crazy. They're not like that. It's because no one's willing to look beyond what they're seeing at face value. Like, they're just not. Like, they really think this person has their back. Think again. Because the minute that the, they need something, like, this person's just going to, if it doesn't benefit them, Okay, like, that's that's what I should say. If it doesn't benefit them, like, say it's to change a flat tire, but you're the only one that's around and you need someone to change a flat tire, they're not, they're not going to come. They're not going to show up. If you're moving out of town, they're not going to come. They're not going to show up because they can't make a spectacle in front of other people. That's the whole purpose. This is someone who wants the center of attention, but to to have other people react and be like oh look at how good they are look at how amazing they are look at how kind-hearted they are if there's no one else around they're just not gonna do it they're not gonna get involved in it yeah look <laughs> so your source saying we gave you the wisdom right we gave you the wisdom your pure soul your pure heart without like you know what was up you see this person's darkness they wear it very clearly on their face they wear wear it very clearly on their energetic field and it didn't take you very long to figure them out right life is a mystery with eight this was a karmic situation for you but i feel like you're you're embracing that you're embracing hey you know what there are gonna be people who try to fool me but that's cool like i know where i'm at i know who i am right embrace the in between yeah look number 26 eight again yeah showing that yeah sometimes karmic cycles leave us reeling from certain situations but when you embrace that in between, you're finding your balance. And that's such a powerful place to be at. Why did this motorcycle guy, he like parked right out in front of the RV and I don't know why. I don't own a motorcycle. <laughs> I'm actually going to grab some of these uh, Shadow Love Oracle cards that I got. These are new. Some of them definitely uh, mirror the other Shadow deck that I have, but I didn't pull it out. So, can we please have some Shadow aspects about this reading? All right, so you had negativity. Like a dark cloud above, you are depressed, extreme moods. So this is the energy that they're in right now, just negativity. Deadly combo, dangerous when together, triggering and explosive. So this is why this person does not and has not, has chosen to stay separate from your energy because there's a lot that's going on. Like they don't want to make a scene like that. They don't want to blow up and be seen as the bad person, but they know if they hung out with you any amount of time that that's what would happen. So, <laughs> and we have tangled, unable to free yourself from a sticky situation. Taking a step back helps you to see clearly. So this is what it's feel like, felt like, feel like, feel like, okay, good English, huh? This is what it's felt like. It's, it's almost like you can't get away from this person. Like it's, it's, you're stuck to them right now for some reason, but you're really not like you've done the right thing by pulling back and you feel like you pulled back your energy and it's just going to kind of work itself out. We did have complicated on the bottom. Lots of, lots of twists and turns, naughty situation and precarious. So yeah, this is not something that you really want going on in your energy right now, right? Like this person, I feel like they want one more. This person is just, I feel like you want one more out here, source. What is it? Exit plan. Someone wants out, but they aren't making a move yet. Be prepared for sudden changes and crumbling 
you've what you've built up feels like it's falling apart it's okay you have the strength to build a new so this is a thing this person's life is falling apart you're gonna get out with the exit plan here i feel like that's you getting out and this person's gonna be left like all that stuff that they said about you all that stuff that they really believed in it's like all gonna fall apart and they don't know and we have bad timing on the bottom here with too little too late not ready um, not ready to love again. So this person just doesn't have any space for love, whether that's someone you're, you were ever interested in romantically or what have you. This person just does not have the space to be kind-hearted. Like, they just don't have it in them because they're very cruel to themselves, you know? Hope, 16. Interesting. So they brought you hope there. It's like it was a hopeless situation that reminded you that there's always hope. Right. And I feel like you were here to bring them hope, too. I just can't really say with the energy they're in right now. It doesn't feel like they're very open to that. So it says behind the passing dark clouds, the sun still shines bright. Feeling overwhelmed, disconnected, afraid and defeated are a few of the symptoms you experience when passing through an emotional storm. All is not as it seems. The passing storm will uncover suppressed emotional energy that is in need of clearing and balancing. As challenges, as challenging as it may seem, see the passing great clouds as an opportunity to grow, learn, heal, and transform limiting behavior, patterns, and beliefs. It is not about staying positive through the storm. It's about understanding and truly seeing the imbalances and wounds within you that attract this energy to your space. Clouds do pass and will continue to pass until you learn to truly see the underlying message and lesson. Only then will you transcend the fear and irritability of these challenging cycles. Once you are able to understand your magnetic connection to the challenges that surround you and heal those imbalances with love, storms will cease to affect you as they once did. For now there is stillness and hope in knowing that the sun still shines bright behind the passing dark clouds. It is then... Through this renewed clarity, inner knowing, and strength that you will be able to manifest a life of choice. For no more will you see passing storms as a destructive force to be reckoned with, but rather an opportunity to evolve to higher states of conscious understanding. It is through this act alone that you are reborn to a world of wondrous manifestation and fulfilled dreams. The prayer here is, Holy Spirit, please guide me to see the situation with deeper clarity love and understanding and the chakra is the sacral chakra and so and that's interesting because the intuition cat, cat card is also connected to the goddess bat stet who rules the sacral chakra and so there's this energy of allowing yourself to feel how you feel and i feel like that's something very important for you pile three is this person doesn't know how to feel how they whatever they are feeling they just don't know how to feel it so they just come up with all kinds of craziness to get out of it and so i feel like for you they were brought into your energy so that you can feel how you feel and know that that's okay like i feel like i don't like this person right like me as the reader i feel like i don't like this person and i feel like that's okay that i don't like this person because i'm not gonna deal with this person and i don't have to deal with this person right so like for you you'd be like you know what i feel like this person's no good for me and I feel like that's okay. I'm not a bad person because I don't get along with this person or because I don't feel like this person is good for me. I feel like I have that right and that's valid. And that means that I get to say goodbye to this person or, you know, however saying goodbye is to you could just be simply being silent, right? And just knowing that that's okay. That doesn't make you a terrible person. So I feel like that's what Source really wants to bring through with this reading. It's like, regardless of where this person's at, this person is chaotic, like, I would not want to be around this person at all. This person is next level chaotic. I feel like if you get around this person, you may have to do a lot of cleansing. Wow. <coughs> I felt like someone just put their hand down my throat. Yeah, it feels like you have to do a lot of cleansing to get this energy off you, which I'm definitely going to do after I finish this reading. So... Remember that it's all about a mirror, right? You've dealt with a lot of hardships in the past, and I feel like this was the end of a cycle for you. You're letting go of something that's not serving you anymore. And this person's energy was definitely a trigger for that. Okay, so if you feel like this is your reading, leave a little cat emoji down below and say, how I feel is valid and okay, and I get to feel that because it's mine. And if this resonated with you, it would mean so much to me if you were to like the video, 
comment down below to subscribe to the channel because it does truly help and it supports the channel if you'd like to support the channel even further check out the description box below you'll find links to email me for a personal reading to follow me on over to my podcast at spotify at scatter love radio to even join as a member and i would love to see you on memberships but if not thank you for your continued support here i am going to go ahead and leave this reading here and get on out of here i do want to take a quick second though to thank Thank your guides, your spirit messengers, your angel source, and my guides for coming together to give us this, albeit a little insane message, file three. But until next time, stay human. Bye.